All right, back again, Luke here, and today what I want to do is show you uh, retro gamers as well as PC gamers a cool uh, board here for uh, older PCs, and that is doo -doo -doo -doo, this here. This is the PC uh, FX GA, and basically what this is is a, a board um, that has the same abilities as the PC FX that can be installed in older PCs. Um, this is a pretty rare board to find, and uh, when it was released, it probably retailed for around $500 or $550. Um, if you take a look at the box here, let me see if I can find those. On the end, it'll show you the specs of the board, and uh, it'll tell you what kind of system or OS it used. And if you can look down here, MS-DOS version 3.3, and uh, also tells how much... Uh, of a hard, uh, how much space on the hard disk you need? Uh, it's two, uh, what is that? Two hundred thousand bytes in order to run it. Uh, this is another, just a, another piece in my collection here that uh, I have never ever used. Um, it's never been uh, taken out of the package. Uh, the box has been open before, and I actually did use the controller for one of my uh, PC FXs. So um, I do have the controller sitting around here, but. Uh, if you take a look at the inside here, let's try and open this thing up. We have the uh, instructions, which have never been opened. Um, it's pretty amazing. This thing's almost kind of like a, a time capsule here, but um, they've never the tape's never been removed. It's still factory sealed, and uh, these are a couple of the different uh, software that came with it. Now, uh, same game is uh, basically a puzzle game, uh, same game FX, and uh, it's pretty interesting. I think there's probably a couple of videos on it on uh, YouTube, so if you get a chance, you could probably take a look at that. And uh, the other one here, I'm not exactly sure what this one is all about. Um, I ha Like I said, I haven't uh, tried to put it in or anything like that, but... Uh, just another uh, another disc that came with it. Now these discs, uh, unfortunately, have been uh, the seal has been removed on the outside, but uh, it doesn't look like the games have really been used. Um, it's pretty amazing though. But uh, underneath here, we have our uh, floppies, which are still encased in the cardboard here, never been taken out. And if you can see that, those are the. Uh, game accelerator uh, discs for the system and underneath this let's see if I can get this out one handed here is our accelerator board now, like I had mentioned before um, this thing has never been taken out uh, if you take a look at the back here it's still factory sealed and uh, in beautiful condition uh, as you can see, you have your video outs on the back. You also have uh, S-Video and uh, the controller ports on the front here and uh, the AC adapter as well as uh, audio input. So This board here um, was essentially, after doing some research on this, um, used by a lot of Japanese uh, gamers, hardcore gamers, to make homebrew games. Um, they were able to use these boards here and make a lot of different homebrew games for the PCFX. Uh, unfortunately, uh, from what I had read, it said that due to language barriers, uh, those games were never released outside of Japan. So although there was a huge market and a huge following for uh, making these homebrew games, uh, the language barrier kind of put that back from getting released outside of Japan, which is uh, kind of sad in a way. But a uh, very interesting kind of history with this. Now, let's see if we take the bottom up here. The, the, underneath here is where the other controller was, but like I had mentioned before, um, I'm borrowing the controller, or I borrowed the controller for one of my other PCFX units. Uh, these are the cables. These again have never been used or never been opened before. And the uh, AC adapter here, which is still locked in plastic. and. I don't think it's really been removed from the box. But uh, this might be a pretty interesting collector's piece for uh, those out there who are interested in PC gaming, as well as the retro aspects of uh, 
the um, or the history even behind the PCFX. But uh, if you try and do research online on this, uh, you probably come up with really limited explanations in English. Uh, there are a few sites that are dedicated to Japanese and the hardcore uh, Japanese uh, programmers who really enjoyed uh, making homebrew games for this unit. But um, as far as finding stuff in English on this, it's almost impossible. I'm kind of wondering what I should do with this, um, even though holding on to it is... Uh, you know, something special, and it's uh, kind of another cool little addition here. I'm thinking that uh, probably somebody who's really interested in programming might get uh, better use out of it than just me holding on to it and having it sit around here. So, still kind of thinking about that. I'll just probably toss that uh, up in the air here a couple of times and just try and figure out what I'll wind up doing with the board itself. But I figured since I had it right now, and... Uh, I was going through some boxes and I came across it. I might as well make a video on it and let you guys see that uh, they did make a PC Engine um, PCFX board uh, for the PC. And uh, this is what it looks like. It's uh, pretty rare to come across, pretty rare to find. Um, I found this one probably like five years ago. And uh, the main reason why I picked this up was not essentially for the board itself, but uh, the controller because I had a PCFX that did not have the controller on it and uh, I needed a controller so I came across uh, kind of like a retro store that uh, kind of dealt with old retro games as well as new games and they had this sitting um, kind of far off into the corner it looked like it was buried under some stuff and I went over there and I took a look at it and I asked the guy I said do you think this thing's got a uh, controller in it for PCFX and he said yeah, it should. Um, he said, you know, he's had it sitting on his shelf for a long time, and he never opened it. So we opened it up, and sure enough, there was a controller in there. And so I basically bought it for the controller. But, um, yeah, just another piece of retro gaming history, or PC gaming history as well. But uh, the interesting part that I really thought was... Uh, kind of wild was the fact that uh, in Japan there was a huge following for this and a lot of people who were trying to make um, the homebrew games for it. And they said it's really possible and uh, the games were pretty amazing. The only problem was just the language barrier. But I just wanted to give you a short little rundown here on uh, this board and uh, yeah, no gameplay of it or uh, nothing too exciting, but uh, like I said, I came across it, and I figured that uh, those out there who are interested in retro PC gaming as well as um, the PCFX might get a kick out of the uh, PCFX GA. But that's about all for me for right now. But like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So thanks for watching.